Hello guys, uh, so this is the second video of today's lesson. Uh, this is actually the development, it's going to be the development of the content. I'm not going to stop with details, I just want to explain, this is very, going to be very short, but I want to explain uh, how you're gonna do it by yourself and individually, and how you're going to learn at your own pace. Uh, I'm not going to uh, give you uh, an extension, um, explanation because everything that you need to know it's already there uh, this is going to be a different format hopefully you like it and it's going to be easier uh, than the previous one and because it's just an extension of the previous session uh, the early national period this is the part of the early national period so I'm going to start sharing my screen and hold on guys um, I think it's this one yes Okay, so we're gonna start here. Um, I'm going to use a section A, group A, to explain you where you gotta go in order to uh, in order to see this class. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're getting so today is it's session number. So it's this one, uh, class ten. Make sure it says uh, national period, early national period part three. And here you have some of the instructions and yes, uh, the, the, the comment is for today's lesson. What you have to do. Um, so remember that you have to, after this, you gotta um, complete the Swift queues number 10. It is Swift question. Uh, in case you, you wonder at this point of the of the course, what is Swift Cues? It's Swift Questions. Uh, it's a quick form that you've got to fill. And then in order to do that, the first thing that you have to do is this, and then you have to uh, mark attendance. So that, that should be the order. So hopefully you follow the order. And then you have the early national period part three, that is the, the material. Um, so you're going to have the recording once they are ready in here, and then you gotta do this, and then you have to click in here, and then what you have to do is you have to click on entrar, and then you have the presentation, which is going to be the same as this one. Hold on. What the? What the heck? What the heck? Hold on. I think it's recording guys. I don't know if it's recording <laughs> at this point. Yeah, it's recording. Uh, so this is today's lesson and this is basically some tabs that are organized about the writers that we're going to cover for today's lesson. So at your own pace, you go and click on the material and this is the, these are the, the other writers that we need to cover for the early national period. We have Olauda Equiano, um, John Trumbull, James Madison, Philip Frino, Phyllis Whitley, Alexander Hamilton. So we have in total two, four, six writers. Some of them are very um, immersed in, into politics, and some of them are African American, and some of them are poets. Others are um, very uh, founding founding fathers. For example, James Madison and Alexander Hamilton. So the way this, this material is designed that I, I created for you, it's you have the, the name of the guy and then you have the important things that you need to know in order to study for the, for the midterm or to know about this, in his, this writer thing in specific. I want you to cover all of the information. It's not a lot of information. So I decided to have the key terms of the discussion and I wanted to have some, some samples and excerpts of each of the, the pieces of writing that we're discussing in a specific about a particular writer. So in this case, you can scroll down up and you can learn uh, the most important things that you have to know about these about this, um, writers. And then you click next, you can click next if you want. And then we have this other guy that it's, um, 
And then we have a it serve of a poem. It's and then we have an example of another poem. If you find you're gonna find a lot of new vocabulary for those those of you who are contributing with the with the glossary. So we have the most important information. I try to have five or six um, key points, and then the sample, and then the picture. You know, very. You know, this is important. Look at the picture in here. For example, this guy. It's their hands. It's their um their hands um his hands. I'm sorry. His hands hands are on paper. Um, we have like a very presidential thing picture in here because he was actually the fourth president of the United States. So you have some key information in here, and then more information. He this guy. It's uh, one of the founder fathers and is considered to be the father of the Constitution. And then I give you um, the introduction of the Constitution of the United States if, if we want to be familiar with it. So it's we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, in, ensure domestic tran tranquility, provide for a common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our prosperity posterity do ordain and establish the constitution for the United States of America preamble of the this is the preamble of the uh, of the United States Constitution if you want to know uh, more about this if you want to expand your knowledge on the Constitution of the United States here's the National Archives that I take the, the information that is um, official uh, that is constitutional or any detail. So you're going to have more information in here. This is the preamble, the description. If you want to know what does it say, what did it happen, how was it made, who were the, uh, the framers of the constitution. If you want to read more about, if you want to read the transcript in here, you can, you can actually do it. And then if we go back, then we have the Bill of Rights, that it's basically the first, uh, the first 10 groups, so the, the, the first group with the first 10 uh, rights in the constitution. Uh, so you can, one more time, click in here. And then you're going to have the Bill of Rights information and the same page with the same extra information. So this is, this is going to be autonomous learning. So it depends on you how far uh, you wanna go with the, the learning of the constitution of the Bill of Rights. So, and then we have the next, uh, the next guy that it's uh, Philip Bruno. You have four uh, key points in, in there, five, if you want to consider the date. Uh, and then we have the absurd for, for this guy. Um, you're gonna find, this is, th these are very nice poems. I, I enjoy them reading, reading I, I really enjoyed reading this. And then we have a woman that it's going to be always part of a discussion. There's always going to be uh, women in my discussion, a uh, woman uh, in particular. And Phyllis Whitley, it, which is, uh, besides being a woman, it's uh, an African-American poet. And, and it's an African, it's the first African-American writer. And for me in American history, it's so surprising. And after all of these sessions, and probably you have noticed that women I kill in here in the game of, of writing, and some of them are the first to publish, the most sell writer, uh, the the first woman to write about this, the first woman to do the little, you know. It's, it's so we have some very important people in here, and you know it's the same format, key points that you need to know, and then these numbers are numbers of line, guys. It doesn't say anything in particular. This is the same, uh, the same poem. So you don't get confused. What is this one, two, three, four? It's just the number of the of the of the line. As in the TOEFL, you have from line tan tan to line blah blah blah. So I wanted to organize the 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 information like that. We have Alexander Ham Hamilton, which is probably uh, someone that you already heard. Um, yes. So this this is what we have about this guy. Um, I don't know if you if you find it interesting the the way that it's taught it's because some of you say okay I like when you go straight to the point so uh, for this uh, material you can learn what you need to know about this guy 
because this this is the third part. So we already discussed everything about the enlightenment, theism, determinism, political movements, writers, ideas, designs, thoughts, themes, arguments, everything in the previous um, historical context. We already discussed that with the previous examples of writers, and we already discussed the the themes and the literary aspects of the early national period in the previous sessions. So this one is just an extension for you to know about some of the, well, founding fathers you have in here, but you have the first uh, African-American woman to, to publish a book. And so that's why it's an extension class. And, and that's, that's it for today content. So you're going to have fun. If you need the presentation, you can ask for it, the, the PDF if you want, uh, so I can send it to you. But I mean, this is kind of cuter to have like interaction with this. I like it. It's like playing a game. I don't know. <laughs> don't pay attention to what I'm saying. Uh, so the, the third video I already mentioned in the previous video that we're having three videos for today's session. So this one is, is it was about um, how you're going to develop this session, this recording session. And then the next one is going to, the next video that is going to be explained in this one, it's the surprise video. So as I mentioned a couple of sessions before, and some of you are doing the teaching practices, right? Teaching practice, of course, you're taking teaching practice with uh, Mr. Max Blanco. So Max uh, assigned, well, assigned this, this girl, Cindy, that is, Close in the, you are in this class, I think, you're group A. So Cindy is in charge of, of the teaching practice for group, no, group B. But since this is the same, the same course for, for both groups, so I asked Cindy uh, if we could share the, 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 the material with this group also. And she said yes, and then I asked you, and you said, okay, we're fine. And then I asked the other group and say, okay, that's fine for me. And I asked everybody and they say, they, they all agree. And I agree. So, <laughs> uh, so the way you are going to find the, uh, seeing this material, uh, material for, for the lesson, which is a workshop. And it's very interesting. I'm very proud of you, Cindy. And you're watching the, this video right now. I'm very proud because you followed the instruction and you accommodated everything. And you, like, I mean, you know, thank you for that. So Cindy is going to be uploading videos every two weeks, every 10 days and for the workshop. And those are going to be, those are going to be the homework for today's class. That's going to be a video and a quiz. So that's going to be the homework. So you got to watch the video that Cindy developed and you have to answer the, the quiz that is at the end of the presentation. I'm going to tell you how you're going to do so. Uh, so don't worry right now. What are we doing? So, and, and then in the second part of the second term of this course of the semester is going to be an evaluated part. Um, so today it's going to be evaluated as a homework, but then in the other, uh, in the second term, that is going to be from September, I think September 16 or something like that. Um, we are going to, to, to include this material, this workshop, because it's, it's very important that you, that you know. So the way you get to access this is you go to American Literature Plus. I'm ready here. So you click over there. Uh, for those of you who have never entered to American Literature Plus, you have some requirements that you need to uh, click. And then you have the extra material, the extra credits activities, and most of you are working in here. None of you are working here or doing the reading critical analysis that is actually related to allow the piano. None of you watch the video that is about the critical analysis of the field. So it says set entregados. Well, I have a reading critical analysis. I haven't checked that one. So I'm sorry, there's one person that already finished the reading critical analysis. Uh, um, that it's, no, it's about Samsung and Com. Yeah. And this is going to be the part where Cindy enters into the conversation. Uh, so for both groups, you're going to have the similar thing. And at, if you want to play the video, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be part of it. Uh, so this is the first chapter. So it's uh, a YouTube video. I'm going to show you parts of it. 
So you can directly click from here. It's a 30 minutes workshop. This is the first chapter and she's going to develop different chapters. And the name of this workshop is Practice, uh, Practice Literature Workshop. And you're going to meet Cindy in case you are not familiar. Who's, who is this Cindy? So she's going to be in the, in the screen. Watch Moyo. Melin, I don't know. Okay, so that's what you have in there. So you have Cindy talking about different things and different concept development. It's a very, um, some very useful that you're going to have, you're going to learn. I mean, it's very, uh, very nice. She developed a very nice content and I'm so proud of the work that she's doing and it's going to be really useful for you guys. Um, the, the, but this is the activity that I want to share. Is it, is it in here? Yes, that's going to be a quiz. Uh, there, you have a couple of questions. So you're not going to answer this in, in the video, but there's going to be the material right here in a couple of minutes. It's going to be in a couple of minutes when I finish recording all, all of the videos. So this is everything for today's class. For today's class, guys, uh, this is a recording session. So you're going to have the first video that is the announcement. Probably some of you already watched the video. And the second video is going to be the explanation of the materials for the writers. And the third video is going to be um, Cindy's, Cindy's um, workshop. And that is going to be the homework for today. You are not going to have a gazette, so I need to modify the description. You are not going to have a gazette for today's week, for this week, for this class, I'm sorry. But you're going to have the three videos. You're going to have the homework that is basically the complete the quiz at the end of the presentation. So it's mandatory for you to watch the video. Um, so the videos are going to be uploaded in Cindy's uh, YouTube channel, but they're always going to be posting here. So if you want to like the video, I mean, that, that can be helpful. If you want to like this video that is in my channel, so you can like all of the sessions and, and if you want to search, subscribe and you want to um, see all of my other videos that are there that are part of the class, part of other things, I mean, I feel like a YouTuber right now. No, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, so you just go and click over there. Thank you very much, guys. Have a nice day. Have a nice afternoon. And start watching the videos in the class and everything that you need to complete for today's stats. Have a good one. See you. Bye. Take care. God bless you.